Yo, Breezy. Yo, yo. Man, I thought yesterday was going to be the shortest review of all the round picks, but man, I was wrong. You ready to get into it today? Yeah, them second round things look a little different, man. Let's get it. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Breezy and Mike, we are back in the building. Oh my gosh, man. This is part two of the eight part series when it comes to these draft picks, which is interesting because in less than 30 days, the San Francisco 49ers will be drafted in the first round and in the second round. Mm, Got to bolster these numbers, man, because they ain't looking good so far. <laughs> <laughs> so let's, uh-huh. look, and let, let, let's start today's episode with explaining to our faithful and loyal supporters why okay. we are half an hour early what is going on and shout out to everybody in the chat already y'all hold it down man what's up what's going on everybody out there man shout out the breezy bunch crew man i, I appreciate y'all manly peachy black orchid man uh miss debbie's out there uh marty mar 49er empire red and gold blooded uh don't bother me what's up uh my sister tanya's out there manuals out there they are out there they're in them streets look 3 30 we had to go early because apparently there is going to be some popcorn must ready you know tv on the internet you know from a former 49er player and eric armstead he put out this trailer yesterday that you know i'm going to tell you me, me, he's really talking to me. I'm going to tell you what really happened behind the scenes. Now, we know that the Niners offered him uh, some money. The word on the street was they offered him, sh- like, you know, around that $17 million mark to make this year. So he was asked to take a pay cut. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, he didn't want to take the pay cut, which I'm not mad. I'm not mad that he didn't want to take the pay cut. But. You know, there are reasons why they asked him to take a pay cut. You know what I'm saying? This wasn't a restructuring. This was, hey, I, I need you to take less money. And if you don't want to take less money, I understand. And we we wish you well. <laughs> like, that's kind of like what happened. Uh, so, Mike, I don't know how you feel about the situation. But Eric Armstead said he feels disrespected. He was disrespected. Did the 49ers lowball him? Uh, that's the question. Because last time I checked, he making $17 million a year. In Jacksonville, what's what's <clears throat> low ball is such a, a crucial word because I I don't know what they offered him. Uh, did he say what they offered him? I think that's what we're gonna find out today. Uh, we'll see. I mean, he, he he might just be baiting everybody to tune into his podcast season two kickoff. I I want everybody to know the only real show out there is the bam show and anything mike and breezy put their faces in okay i'm just gonna tell you that right we say what we mean we mean what we say mm-hmm. and so ain't no bait and switching going on over here uh, okay. but if y'all want to watch some tv get your popcorn because we're gonna be tuned in and i'm going to be clipping stuff up and you know probably sell a t-shirt or two can i ask you another question before we get to what eric armstead actually said yeah. i got the clip pulled up we could play it but uh, it's free promo for him. I'm sure he's not going to be upset about it. Um, when did podcasters start saying like season two and season three and all that stuff? If it wasn't like a like a story type of thing, um, I always do. I always start my new season when the new league year starts. So I, you know, I'm so, not. But you 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 say it or like title it like this is the third season of whatever whatever. Um. I know when I do my podcast for listeners, it breaks it up and, and like the new season has been designated. So for the Wayne Breezy show, season three is on, you know, it's underway. 
So gotcha. I let them know. But I, I might not say, hey, season three. That's why I stick with the I, the episode numbers are still high. I don't start over in the episode numbers, but I right. do designate do that season. Yeah. So that makes sense. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Okay. All right, just wondering. Uh let's play this clip, man. Let's let's hear what Armstead actually had to say. Let's um I, I don't know, third and long. Okay. Go ahead. Good Armstead. podcast. A lot has happened this off season. Uh, I'm no longer with the 49ers. I have a new team. First off, like, I want to say, like, I don't have any animosity towards the organization, Kyle, John, the York family. I did feel extremely disrespected. They extended an offer to me. Wait. (laughs) Did he say, I have no animosity towards anybody and literally followed up with, I feel disrespected? Yeah. And and you could tell us it's around this offer because the rumor is I did station Kyle John. The rumor rumor is is it's about ten million dollars. So, you know, which he was set to make in the twenties. That's a big pay cut. If it's ten million. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's see. Say like I don't have any animosity towards the organization, Kyle John, the York family. I did feel extremely disrespected. They. Extended an offer to me, million dollars, nine years of me being there. The Boy, fans deserve years. to know what happened. No, we don't know. First, he blinked nine out. years smart. of me being there. The fans de- his mouth. extended an offer to me, million dollars, nine years of me being there. The fans deserve to know what million. happened. You know, I had to make some decisions. A lot has happened this off season. Okay. All right. All right. So he feels away. <clears throat> he feels away, and we, and so he's going live at four. Is that or it airs at four? Like it's like a premiere thing. Like where where you watch this podcast? Is it on YouTube? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you I'm, you gotta I mean, get look, we're already promoting this podcast on the show. We got to tell people where to go to watch it. Like the hell, he ain't paying us. All right, he still want That's money bad. from them T-shirts. Fuck out of here. <laughs> All right. So are we are we going to try to talk about it? Or are we going to wait to see what he says or cuz I yeah, have I mean, opinions on this. I mean, uh, well, I mean, you want to give an opinion? Give your opinion, but tomorrow we'll we'll break it down. Like, you know what I mean? Right. I think that the 49ers should have and I'm going to do air quotes lowballed him. Let me start with saying that. Did you I said that, that they should have lowballed him? Yes. Yes. Um from a business standpoint, the 49ers if what he's saying is true and it was a low number, did the right thing. Um, they have paid him X amount of dollars over the last two seasons, and he's probably played a total of 15 games, 16. I mean, you know what? Let me not we, – we, we don't have to paint spitball this. Like, we could look it up, actually. So uh, it says here uh, – I'm not going to count – I know this doesn't sound bad. I'm not going to count the postseason – uh, even though he did come back for the postseason. He played 12 games last year and nine. So he did 21 games, 21 out of 34. Mm. Okay. Um, I think that the team paid him his money. He probably had injury settlements, uh, not settlements, but injury yeah, but the Niners, guarantees and all that stuff. That he was on the in. last year of his deal. And the Niners weren't going to restructure him on the last year of his deal. Like the Niners were making it clear that they were probably going to be moving forward. Let's just keep it a buck. And he knew that. And the Niners did exactly what you said that they were going to do from a business standpoint. They came in, they hit him with a number, they looked at what he did, they looked at his production on the football field, they looked at his availability, you know, per the season, and he got paid. And I know he took a couple of he did what one or two maybe restructures since he got the mm-hmm. the, the deal, but he mm-hmm. still he still got the, he still got paid like he still got his money, and so like I'm not I'm not mad at him, um, and I'm not saying that he needed to take a, a a deal or do anything other than what the last year of his contract they didn't I mean they paid Jimmy Garoppolo his last year but they but they needed Jimmy like you know what I mean? But technically, they didn't need Jimmy because they had Trey Lance. They could have just used Trey Lance. Trey Lance could have got his rookie season on, and Jimmy could have just been an overpaid 
backup quarterback. That's not how the Niners wanted to go about it. But with Eric Armstead, I mean, he was kind of declining on this defense. I'm not asking him to put up the, the double digit sack years, but it just seemed like his availability wasn't there. That that's the only thing that was missing was that's his it. physical presence on the field. But maybe the Niners learned from the Jimmy Garoppolo situation. Remember, they were like, "We we gotta get rid of him. We gotta get rid of him." They tried. They wouldn't even let him go in practice. And then all of a sudden, there was this injury thing, so he had to be on on the team. Like Jimmy bamboozled his way into that last season of being here. I don't know if you remember. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah because of the injury. Like yeah, like right. Well, I'm so, talking about the next season, but the season prior to that, like Trey Lance's rookie season, he didn't bamboozle himself. He was still paid. Remember on that on that that last year his deal, remember? And then the next year they they brought him back for on they they had he had one more year after that, excuse me. And then they they were they were going to let him go, remember? And then his agent was like, Yeah, so we gonna have this surgery right about now. Right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So maybe the not like so. Look, we do know for a fact that Armstead had some foot issues and things like I never that. And thought I think about the team that. didn't. They didn't want to be in that same situation where like, all right, like if we offer him this and it's all incentives, but then he gets his surgery. Now we stuck and we on the hook again. Maybe they're learning from their mistakes. It's a possibility. And the flip side is this: they did what they had to do to protect themselves, and Eric Armstead did what he was supposed to do as well. 1, I believe that. When you when you look at his numbers when he played those full seasons, he had numbers comparable to. Chris Jones and um, uh, Sam uh, Sam Darnold. Listen to me, uh, Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald. Not not talking about sacks. Not talking about sacks. Not talking about sacks. Okay. Talking but impact. I'm talking. I'm talking impact, and I'm talking about productivity. Yes, I, a lot of people remember Chris Jones because he'll make a big play in the fourth quarter. Eric Armstead usually starts games hot. Eric Armstead will have the same production as. Uh, Chris Jones, but it's about when you do it, and that's what that's what sticks out in people's minds. Yeah, but you understand I think, what I'm saying. Yeah, I do, but I think the issue with Eric Armstead is because of his availability, he couldn't give the 49ers consistency. And so, when you look at the type of injuries that he was suffering from, it was this injury repeating. And so, the plantar fasciitis probably wasn't going to get any better. And the Niners realized that they had they were overpaying. And, and a, yes. a, a damaged good. And so we still want the good. We just don't want to pay the same amount, you know? And it's not saying that they were going to ask him to, uh, 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 you know, work harder, work more, excuse me, or more of a role. But, oh, but, but, oh, 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 oh. What if that was part of the reason? Because the Niners did pay him, and part of his payment was to play the role whether to go inside or outside remember in the last couple of years he was like yo i get paid to play defensive tackle so i'm gonna play defense tackle. that outside stuff kind of stopped remember i don't know if you peeped that he didn't line up outside a lot well because it requires more from the feet i think i think it was kind of you know both both things and i think the niners said well if you're not going to be this two-way player for us then we can't pay you, you the yeah. top premier dollar and that's my point Two side play, not two way. I'm sorry, but yeah, yeah, I agree. And so both parties were right, though. He when he's oh, healthy, yeah. he puts up. Listen, Chris Jones has never had a season with 45 tackles, not one in his entire life. But I don't think in, you're going to get in the pro, pro a league. huge amount of tackles from your defensive tackle, though. Eric Armstead does it regularly, and that's that's kind of my point. Eric Armstead has seasons with 60 plus tackles. Uh, so does Aaron Donald. But that's that's my point, and I'm not saying that he's on their level. What I'm saying is. If his production is on course for their production, then his team is going to say, that's the contract we're looking at. That's that's what we're going off of. Now, they get more sacks than us. We'll take a couple million less, but that's the productivity that we're going to get. So you need to pay us like them. The market is the market. And you get paid based off of where you fall in productivity based off of that market. Yeah, but at the, the time he got his con at the time he got his contract, he got paid top money in that market. At the time You're he got his past, yeah, yeah. I'm talking, I'm talking about, about the time he I'm got his contract. This. Yeah, but but Chris Jones and Aaron Donald kept resetting the market, and so like 
It ain't. It's not contract time, dog. <laughs> like you, it, no, but it is. It was. This was contract time, and so I understand his it, team it, saying it wasn't contract time from the San Francisco 49ers perspective. Like they're not looking a, at it as that. They're looking at it as fulfill your last year to contract. I, I guarantee you, the Niners weren't going to offer him a new contract. He was going to walk as a free agent next year. Mm. I can guarantee that. But from his mm. perspective and from his camp, yes. I see what you're saying. I see, but you're and, saying and, it, it literally was not the end of your contract yet. Get out there and play. I okay. And, and, I, see and I don't mean it in that type of a harsh way, like shut up and play. No. I'm just saying, mm-hmm. like, you got another year, dog, and we're going to reduce we, – we ask you to take a pay cut because your play or productivity, excuse me, has declined due to your availability. And so what this might have did for Eric Armstead was hurt his chances – of getting another contract. And so this is probably why he walked. It wasn't just the insignificant amount of money that might have been less. It was the simple fact that he want to play because if he still has the desire and heart to play football, he's going to need another contract. And he ended up in a situation with the general manager that drafted him. So, like, that's good for Eric Armstead. So congratulations to Eric Armstead. I got my boy back. You know, it's crazy. Is that, that how Brick Trent Parkey he... sounds? You know I don't Eric remember. I have. I just don't remember. Oh yeah, oh yeah. He's got. I don't want to listen to Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's weird, man. I, I've never wanted to give somebody a cough drop so bad in my entire life. Oh, he need a whole pack of cough drops. Like, did, did you know you can overdose on them? No. There's actual. I prom. Listen, I did it. Not, Which cough not drops? Over, though? Not the menthol, the menthol all, joint. Bro, all of them. They do have little medicine them. in them. Yes, they have, me- and they tell you like don't consume a certain amount in a certain time frame. And I remember I stayed home sick one day. And I kept feeling nauseous, and so I just kept popping them in, like trying to like I wanted something. I couldn't eat because I felt nauseous, right? So you don't want to consume anything. You don't know if you're going to throw up, but I wanted something, and I had a sore throat. I was going through them joints like Skittles, and I was like, <laughs> "Why am I not feeling better?" And I read on the back, I I consumed almost a whole pack, bro. I was just down. Now you don't get like, "Oh man, I'm zooted," but it gets you. It gets you. Bro. <laughs> I guess you could OD on anything. You could OD on water, too, if you drink too much. Well, at, at the end of the day, you know. Right, right. So. <laughs> All right, Mike. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about these round two. The terrible twos is what we're calling it. Um, but I'm, 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 I don't know if round two is more terrible than round one. Like, I mean, not that many picks to go through. So let's hit or miss. Let's get to it, man. All right. It's That's only four we picks. <laughs> <laughs> well let's 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 provide some context let's provide some context because there's some years where we didn't have a second round pick so like if you go to right, last so. year's draft the second round pick was traded for christian mccaffrey right and so we didn't have so a second 20, round so that's 23 yeah and then i believe we, we traded uh 20, 22 we had one so then in 2021 Right. We had one. That's Aaron Banks. 2020, we didn't have one. And that was the year that we they got. They traded up to Ayuk. get Brandon Ayuk. Yeah. Right. And then 19, we had one. 18, we had one. 17, their first year, we did we not tra- have one. I thought we traded up, though, to get mm-hmm. Ruben, Ruben Foster. Foster. Yeah. So we traded our second round pick mm-hmm. and something else. So that's to why get there's us. only four. Right. So that that's the context behind it for those that want to know what the heck four four yeah four is it all right mike spin that wheel let's do it man let's let's this is gonna be fun so we're grading and hitting and missing i want my drum roll back the good thing is three of the four of these picks 75 percent of these picks are still on the roster i guess that's one way to look at it yeah that is that is a fact. So Drake Jackson, the twenty twenty two draft was picked sixty one overall. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna say, uh, damn, we we said we were gonna, we weren't gonna say it remains to be seen. Like we gotta say hit or miss, right? Uh, I think if they're I'm, still on, I think if if they're still on the roster, you and they ain't played, you kind of gotta you gotta give a little disclaimer, right? Like he had the injury, so he couldn't play last year. His rookie year, he wasn't. Uh, I'm going to call him a miss. It's tough to call him a miss due to the injury from last season that they said he had, but which he ended up having surgery. So, yeah. He did. 
Um, his rookie year wasn't expecting him to do much. He had flashes, but he was limited. Remember, he was shut down his rookie year. Remember, like he played mm-hmm. and then he got shut down because he was dead legs, tired legs, something, something was wrong mm-hmm. with him. And then last year, I mean, week one, he was the man against Pittsburgh, and and then after that, like he kind of, you know. I, I can't call him a miss, and I definitely can't call him a hit. So he 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 a, he's he's a dud for right now. I don't know. I don't know what to say. He's not a hit or a miss. I, I can't. If, what grade if, you give the team for? Pick I up? tell you what. If Drake Jackson had gotten traded, he would be a miss. But since he's still on this roster, he's not. You he hasn't been utilized. He's he hasn't really even been activated. Like <laughs> like you know what I'm saying. Like but that's that that's part of the miss. This was the first pick that we had in that draft. Like, it was the first, first pick, round. but it doesn't make it a miss yet because if he comes out this year and 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 ball so hard, then it's definitely not a miss. So that's why it's kind of like a mystery. <laughs> but Drake Jackson, great. I mean, it's it's a D. It's 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 yeah. D. It's 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 a not D right an, now. It's not an F, but it's definitely a D. You you know what it is. No, it's, it's early. It's early in the marking period, and it's a D. But you can still make this thing a B. Like you could, you could do some extra credit right now. You, can, you can work this way. You can work your way up to a B. But right now, I, it's a D. I'm, I'm digging that. There's no way you, anybody should give this higher than a D. Like if you do, power to you. And there's no disrespect to him. He just hasn't been able to get out on the football field. Yeah, we just haven't seen it. That's why I said we're not going to do it incomplete. But that was that was tough to see. So that's all. All right, let's keep it pushing, man. Let's keep it pushing. I think that the, the 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 clips are out. I think the show is mm-hmm. set. I don't know. Eric Armstead. All right, Aaron Banks. Oh. I'm glad we get the chance to talk about it because I think I think Mike and I have different takes on Aaron Banks. So 2021 number 48 overall, and I love this pick. I love this pick. See, I don't love this, this pick. Is... This pick was. I don't love it at all. And I to this day I still don't think this pick fits. Mm. But why do you love it? I love it because he's one of the nastiest linemen that we have, and eh. he's been out there. And he's I don't get producing. nasty from him at all, Mike. I'm pushing back on just about everything. There's nothing nasty about Aaron Banks. He like just a big soft tissue guy. But every time there's a scuffle, he's the first one there. Eh, Mike. Bullshit. Every, every single anyway, time. Anyway, okay. hey, he's just, he's just he's good. He's good. I do watch the film. Then you know I watch I mean, the film. I'm talking about the scuffles that don't show up on film. Watch oh. the watch the games again. And anytime what, something's what, going down, he right there. What I what I what I will say that I like about Aaron Banks is they they kind of like threw threw him in there, and he had to figure it out. And so I don't think he's as fluid yet. But coming from a power run school, uh, uh, inside zone type of school, and Notre Dame being bigger. Remember, he had to go through the weight fluctuation. I don't know why they do these with these players, Mike, but he had to go through some stuff. That's why he did, he redshirted his freshman year. Plus, we had Lincoln Thomas. He was able to sit. I'm not saying he's bad. What I'm saying is I still don't think he fits. So I, I would like to see a, a healthy Aaron Banks because I thought last year, Mike, that at the beginning of the season, he was playing all pro football. And then you can say due to the injury, he took a back, like he took a big dive backwards. And he just never was able to, he was never able to recoup. Like he was never able to recover because I don't think he was playing healthy. Now, like I said, Aaron Banks is not a bad offensive lineman. I just don't think Banks is the, the lineman that fits here. But if you got meme, I would love to see it. If you got the meme mauling spirit, I would love to see it. Um if you can put if you could push people around, which he does, that's cool. If you can drop in protection and, and block, which he does, that's cool. If you can get saying. to the second level when we need you to and take out a linebacker, which he mm-hmm. does, that's cool. Yeah, but I he doesn't do it that. consistently. And that's my issue. And so, like, I don't know what that means. It means he's not doing it all the goddamn time. There's times he's missing blocks. There's times he's blocking the wrong guy. There's times that he's doing wrong things. And I'm not, I'm, all I'm saying is, I, I just, 
I don't know if that's because of the 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 style that Kyle Shanahan wants his offensive line to, to to do when it comes to inside zone, outside zone. I think on some inside runs, he the man. On the outside runs, I think he struggles. So that's that's kind of what I get. As far as pass pro, I think he's pretty stand up ish. I think he's hard to get by. You know, when he's dropping back in and and pass pro. But it's the run blocking that that kind of you can kind of see his flaws. I will take a guy that you can count his flaws and mistakes on one hand when the season's over. That's, okay. that's, good. I'm not, that's good for me. And, 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 and he's not a miss. It's, it's a hit. Definitely it's, not a miss. It, I, it's still, this, this grade is a, a B, a strong B, like almost a B plus for me. I got a C plus. No way. Yes way. No way. Yes way. Okay. Yes way. C plus uh, all right. and he's still growing. C plus and he's still growing. Because I think – Aaron Banks still has potential to be the best offensive lineman with Trent Williams on the line. I just need to see the consistency and his avail and 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 because he's been he's made himself available year two, right? Year three, excuse me. He made himself available, but he wasn't healthy. So I can't wait to see what he looks like when he's healthy, healthy. Then I could be like Mike Wright. That's he the man. Like everything Mike said, yeah. And then. Like if if we go back and watch the games or watch the film on him, you'll see what I'm talking about. Like, there's just times he's just not in the right spots, but it happens. So, ten million strong and growing. You ain't think I knew the Flintstone kids jingle, did you? All right, okay, all right. You got that. You got that. I, I'm still the better jingle knower than you, but it's okay. It's all right. Here we go. We're gonna spin the wheel again. I'm a, I'm the jingle king. Pause. That sounded. Super crazy. That sounds oh, it. like a pokeball. This looks like a pokeball. Oh yeah, it does. Now that I, I didn't know what you were talking about, but it does. <laughs> <laughs> we're about to catch them all. All right, nineteen. Tanya, oh, wait, snap. we got like Tanya said that I want someone perfect. That's not yeah. true. Yeah, my man makes less than five mistakes a year, and you like, ah, yeah, all right. He made you know, more okay. than five mistakes. We just not counting his mistakes, and you don't watch his mistakes. I do. I'm the, the hardest. The Forty Niners like. were the worst offensive line, like the twenty fourth ranked and, offensive line in football. And Trent Williams was the best guy. So how does anybody? How does anybody get great grades? Like that doesn't make what, any sense. What does it have to do with Aaron Banks? Because he wasn't good. What, he wasn't he's good. Five. He, he was, was not, good. You're he crazy. was not good. He was not. He was not good. He was you good in flashes. All right. Not good. I, I'll be. I'll be insane. He was good in flashes. He had flashes of being good. He was not consistently being good. Y'all can miss me with that. I can tell you that right now. Because I know y'all don't watch Aaron Banks. I know that. But I'm telling you, if you go and watch Aaron Banks, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Weeks one and two and three, he was tip-top, fresh, good. Then after that, there was a slight injury. Can't remember what the injury was off the top of my head. But that shit set him all the way back. And now I'm like, yo, why he playing so bad? Oh, he injured. Makes sense. I said he made himself available, but he wasn't healthy. That's the thing I gave him. That's why I gave him a C plus. I'm not being a hard grader. He just got room to improve. Okay. All right. Debo time now. Let's hear it. Uh, How what? Ah. Yeah, he was, he was, 36 overall. Oh, he's a hit. He's a hit. So it's not it's not about that, but we talk about I I'm with these guys. Like with Debo, I'm ready to go straight up great. Like, you know what I mean? Because he's a hit. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I even said Aaron Banks was a hit. Come on now. So Debo yeah, Samuel. I think you did. Yeah, I think you did. Yeah. Well, so Debo Samuel is definitely a hit. I mean, dude made all pro, what, year two, year three of his of his contract? He made all pro. Uh, he's a hit. Um, and you found out you could utilize Debo in multifaceted ways, like multiple ways, right? And so, like, but if I'm grading him on last year, I mean, I'm a guy, I'm gonna be harsh. Uh, B minus, like <laughs> B minus to a B for Debo. Um, you know, and, and it is what it is. I mean, availability is your best ability. And when the Niners, yo, Mike, we watched the game. I think did we watch this game together? We watched the game where Debo got hurt and the offense flaked. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm giving Debo an A. I, I love, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I hate Mike. I Mike know. is the worst. I don't get it. I don't get it. I, I'm giving this an A. Like, Kyle, this, this might an be a the for best. effort. 
I'm, I'm giving the team an A for drafting him. This guy oh, for sure. single-handedly for sure. gave Kyle Shanahan all of his confidence. Like, this guy is responsible for me thinking that we have the genius head coach that people call him. Like, the, the monikers that he's earned around the league in this, in this, in this uh, perception of Kyle, the play caller. I'm attributing it all. Anything that we've seen here successfully, I'm attributing it to this guy right here. The 2019-36 pick overall. And so, I got to give this an A. This has to be. An well, you talk about A as far as the draft grade. As far as the draft grade. Oh yeah. yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. And even his production last year. I mean, it, it was wasn't decent. Terrible. It, it wasn't, wasn't a no. thousand yard it, guy, but he was over eight hundred ninety yards. And yeah, it was. It was decent. Like, is, but, but again, he missed time, and so missing time to me prevented him. And and and, and you got to penal and, and sports. You got to penalize them for missing the time. This is not like they could come back and make up the work. Like you know what I'm saying? And some schooling. So that's why I'm in that B, that B minus to B range. I gave him, I'll give him a solid B on last year, but it was because he wasn't available. Like the Niners, yeah. I'm at, well, we lost five games last year, and it was due to him not being there. Like just imagine if Debo was there, and we lost those games, we have a different conversation. My man is a is a thousand yard all purpose guy. He missed two. He'd had a thousand receiving if he played in those two other games because he he had over eight hundred ninety yards. I have no doubt about it. That I think the gr- the draft grade, like you said, was was A, like one hundred. Even last year when he's out there, he's an A. That was a, he's still an A. Eh, I think he finished as a, with a B. I think he'll tell you that he didn't play his best football either. If you if we if we asked him, and he's he's been I'm, clear about doing that. But I think he came into the season prepared to play his best football. Like, you know what I mean? And then, I don't know. Unfortunately, he just he just gets hurt. I don't know where this one's going to land. could be anybody. It's going to land on Washington. All right, so here we go. Uh, Dante Pettis. Dante Pettis. Um all right. Okay. You're gonna be not okay. This was a terrible pick. It's an F. Mm-hmm. It's not an F. It's a D. It's a D. He he gave us some production, but this guy just couldn't get it together and it was not a good pick. And they traded up to get him, if I'm not mistaken. They, they did? like this kid, right? Did they do that? Pr- now I gotta look. You now know what look. it was? If they, if they traded up, it's the F. You know what it was too, Mike? Remember he had the return ability. Like, you know what I'm saying? No, he didn't. He never touched the field as a return guy. No, Mike, I'm talking about in college. We were talking about, like, yeah, like he did. He had the ability to return. I think he had a return. Yo, let me tell you how special you are. Let me tell you how special. You said in Washington. Why'd you say that? You said it's going to land in Washington. Why'd you say that? Because he went to Washington. Oh, okay. All right. I I thought you just said, okay, never mind. That was good. That's why I said on on somebody's show or something. I said to somebody, there's only one receiver we drafted from Washington, and we're not going to get him, and that's Rome Adunde. Like, other than that, mm. stay away from the rest of them. They all Dante Pettis's. Is. And, yes, they traded up to get him. Yes, Damn. they did trade up to get him. Yeah, this is an F. If they didn't trade up to get him and it would be who they selected, it would be a D. Cool. Plus. And they misused him because he had the return ability, and they refused to put him back there to let him even try. Who was it, returning that? Was around. that Richie James? Richie James. Fucking re- oh man, don't get me started. <laughs> we get don't, frustrated. Don't, 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 man. All right, I'm taking the screen share off. I don't even want to see his name on the screen. <laughs> I'm okay. Oh look, 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 it was, it was an F. It, it is yeah. what it is, you know. Yeah. You know, it is, it is what it is. Uh, <laughs> but look, <sighs> Eric Armstrong. Second says, round picks aren't terrible. No, is that 50 50? You got 50 50? We got Banks. Um, Ayuk and Drake. That's three out of that's like you I said, can't. I seventy five percent is on the roster, but as far as I only graded two, like so, mm. so, so, so then thirty, so sixty six, thirty three. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I. I think Drake is incomplete. I just that's that's our first incomplete. I think we could give Drake an incomplete. Right. Okay, I didn't know we were doing that because I would have given Drake. We didn't do it last the last episode because I think right. half of them dudes is go- five of them are gone. Yeah, that, that was the first round. We is, <laughs> should we just trade out? <laughs> like what? That and that's the that's the whole purpose of doing this episode. Should the oh Niners never draft in the first round? Should they trade yeah. back into the second round where they have a higher percentage of hitting on their picks? Mm. Mm. Just saying now. And the, Go ahead. The only uh, thing you say, lose. If you, 
is that fifth year option. If you think about the three guys that they use second round picks on to acquire, it makes the second round oh, picks to look get even better. The first round Christian picks. McCaffrey. Mm, oh yeah. Christian McCaffrey. Yeah. yeah. Brandon Ayuk. Yeah. You got Ruben Foster, but that's that's your one ding though. So now if you look at all Oh, so you're saying they picks, hit on their second round picks. Yes. Yes. They, they knocking them out the park. They knocking just, them out the park. I look, I don't want the okay. The only thing the Niners lose out on, they pick at 31. That's like round just two. Think of it as a second. Just come think of on, it as a second bro. With an option. Come on, bro. Trade to 34, 34, 5. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, I right, get you some extra second rounder. Get another second rounder. You know what I mean? And then get busy in round two. And, and get busy, busy, crazy. busy. Now yeah. you could draft that tackle in round two, and you gain more capital. And now you can address two positions you needed to address in the second round and hit on them picks. See? People think we stupid. Like, they think we don't understand what's going on. Like my man Greeting said, that's, that's a bang, bang. You know what I mean? Like, that's a that's yeah. a bang, bang. Only thing they lose, Mike. The only yeah, thing they lose, Mike. Out. It's the fifth round option. option. Yeah. Yeah. Fifth year option. That's it. Yeah. All right, that's it, man. That's it. Let's go. Let's go see if we can find this thing here. And uh he said, Why are you classifying Ayuk as a second? No, I'm not classifying him as a second. I said if you look at the players they used with to acquire with those second round picks, Ayuk, Christian McCaffrey, and Ruben Foster. I said, look at those people that they used the second round picks to acquire. I didn't classify him as a second round pick though. So yeah, man. I think I think the Niners do pretty good. You got Ayuk. Well, you got Foster, uh, Debo, Ayuk, CMC, Aaron Banks, Drake Jackson, Dante Pettis. Those are the seven. Yeah. Got some got some good names on that list. You got some good names on that list. Which yeah. one I mean Debo Debo the Debo and the and the CMC set that list, you know, Debo, great. Debo, CMC and Ayuk. Yeah, great. And IU, well, I forgot. Yeah, and IU, yeah, like two all pros. Was IU an all pro oh, this year? They said that it was pick 31. That's not That's not what they use for IU, is it? They might oh, have. They traded, they traded back and got Kinlaw, so I forgot. I don't know which trade. They didn't they trade back to get Kinlaw. They got Kinlaw from the, um, the Colts pick. That was the Colts first rounder. For, they didn't move back a spot and get him? I don't remember. I don't think so. Brandon Ayuk. Uh, yo, Ruben Foster did look he did look like he was gonna be promising. <laughs> he, he couldn't he stay be a bully on he, that field. He bro. couldn't stay on the field, though. <laughs> he couldn't stay on the field. Look, Jesse from Last Second Sports says CBS gave that pick a B plus after the draft. He talking about Dante Pettis. I know exactly what he's talking about. <laughs> That shit. <laughs> I know exactly what he talking about. He said about. they did trade back with Temple. So they, they had the Colts and then they traded back one spot to get Kim okay. So then so then they might not have used the second. So who did they use the second round pick on that year? Maybe they didn't have one. I, I hate that Brandon Ayuk's name is in the news right now. I'm typing Brandon Ayuk. Oh, Niners trade up to select Ayuk at 25. Let's see here. Damn, we could have got uh, Tristan Wirfs. Oh, uh, 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 49ers gave up three selections, moving up six spots in the draft, sending number 31, 117, and 176 to Minnesota. So we had we had two first round picks that year. Our I think our was our original pick 31. 31. Yeah. So Ayuk was always a first round pick. We just moved up to get him earlier. Didn't we jump Green Bay? Was this the year I was on TV? Was this the year? When Green Bay took um, it's not the year Green Bay took Jordan Love, is it? Green Bay took Jordan Love. I don't remember. Was that the year? I feel I like was Green a- Bay was gonna get a wide receiver, and 49ers caught whim of it, and they jumped up in front of Green Bay. You know what I'm saying? To snag right. BA. Mm. I'm gonna show the pick. I'm gonna mute it so we don't get dinged for it. But me and Miss Debbie. I think Wayne, were you on there too? This is nah. the year that we did it. It was the COVID year. We were all on camera. This is that year. You don't remember this? That was the Brandon Ayuk draft. We yeah, can't man. get. We can't get. Uh, they can't ding us for that. It's a picture. Look. Oh, I was gonna. Sh- I was gonna hit play, but I got the. I got the audio muted though. 
But look, that's the that's the year. Oh yeah, that was look, the year. Miss Debbie right there. Yeah. And then my family's right Nick. here. Look at Nick. Look at yeah, Nick. Nick down here in the corner. Yeah, yeah, man. Look at my peoples, man. Let's go, my man. Uh, Mark with the ring right there. Look yep. at this. Oh, and then and then Goodell, he hating. He covering people up still. That's yeah. wild. I could have sworn I was, was on there that time, year. Man. I thought you. I, I know for sure you were on there the following year. They did it two years in a row. Me, this is the year that he said Tony and I got into. It. Why are we get into it now? They bringing up nostalgia. <laughs> what, what did Tony and I do? What did not like? <laughs> Wait, I don't know. I don't know. What didn't you like? I don't know. I don't know. But, well, th- you know the good thing is, Mike, the Niners have a second round pick this year. They do. <laughs> I'm going out on a limb and saying that their second round pick is going to be better than their first round pick. All right, and I'm out. Unless their first round pick is a quarterback. All right, all right, that's it. I ain't gonna say nothing else, man. Um, uh, uh, we live all the time, kicking it with the fam, bro. That's Breezy. I'm Mike, and this is the Bam Show. We'll see y'all later. Peace. Thank you.